Hi, I'm Stefan from Lay Animation and this is a quick tutorial to show you how I created Twisted Cable. You can still edit individually as splines in 3ds Max. I've been working lately for a company that makes industrial electrical hardware and they have been requiring that some of the suspended cable be twisting. Although there were techniques to create ropes and such, uh, being able to individually part the cable at some junctions was crucial. Here is how I did it. Step 1. I created a spline guide to drive the general shape of the twisting cable. Step 2. I made another spline to use as a profile. Uh, the number of vertices is going to be the number of strands in the twisted cable, so just make a triangle for 3 strands and a square for 4 and so on. Step 3. Loft! I used the compound object loft to extrude the profile along the cable driver. Step 4. The twist. I used the twist option to generate the twisting around the cable. important note at this stage is to be aware that the divisions on the modifier will affect the quality of your twisting. Having not enough segments will confuse the twisting and you will get poor results. Having too many may slow the final spline down quite a bit, but it might be better than the twisting failing, so yeah. Also be mindful of the scale factor as it will influence the distance between the strands of the twisting spline at the end. Step 5. Tw creating the twisting spline. Up until now what we have is a twisting mesh driven by the driver spline. I add an edit poly modifier on top and then I select an edge, double click it and then the whole edge is selected and I repeat for every edge by pressing ctrl and double clicking the other edges along the spline. Then I use the function make shape to turn the selected edge into a spline. Step 6. Made the new spline renderable. I dot delete the construction mesh and you're done. You now have a twisting spline that is editable to your art's content. Thank you for watching. Please leave your questions in the comments.